Bye, everyone. <laughs> I was quite worried that I wouldn't know how to figure out how to get you uh, online, but we're here now, so we can, yes, yeah. yeah, so as I've just told the viewers, we're going to make jeera rice and we're going to make chickpea curry, uh -huh. okay? Okay, just, just bear with me, I'm going to put my light on, because it seems a bit dark at my Yeah, end. isn't it? Yeah, yeah, same with me, I think I, I had to put my lights on. Yeah, that, that's better, isn't it? Okay, yeah, yeah that's better, okay. So, anyways, hi Sunita, waving to Sunita. <laughs> hi, hi Nabu. Hi, so nice to see. Hello, Ravi. Okay, we're going to start cooking now and then we'll try and chat to you when we can, okay? So, I'm just going to move the camera so you can see the cooking area. All right, can you? Might have to move my. Um, things around a bit. Okay, I'm just trying to get my um, tripod to sort of... Okay guys, I think you can now just about see where I'm going to cook. I'm going to cook my jeera right here, so can you see like a shiny wok now, okay? Right, okay. Okay. Are we doing the rice first, yes? Yeah, we do the rice first. So I'm going to okay. cook mine in a wok. We need a, a saucepan or a wok with a nice tight fitting lid. So okay. I'm going to use my wok and I've already put one tablespoon of oil in there and I'm going to switch on my gas. So anybody who's following along, we need one tablespoon of oil and we need to just let it warm a bit before we actually sometimes we heat the cumin first and then we put the oil in but today I'm, I've already put my oil in so I'm just going to let the oil heat a bit and then I'm going to add the cumin. People who are following Slimming World they can just toast the cumin first and then use the spray oil and that works fine. I've done that before as well so it just depends on what um, you want to use. So I only use one tablespoon of cooking oil, just letting it heat up and then I'm going to use some cumin seeds. Um, this is my spice box and we do tend to have most of our everyday spices in here. I'm not going to be using all those spices that um, chefs in Gujarat use because simply we can't get everything here in UK. So I'm just going to add some cumin seeds, about half a half a teaspoon here. Okay. Okay, and then we're going to use some cinnamon, some cinnamon sticks. Um, if you have a red chili and some cloves, just two or three cloves, you don't want too many. Okay. So this, this part of the cooking is often referred to as a tarka or as a tempering. Okay, uh, I should have also mentioned that please um, re uh, wash your chickpeas empty, em if you're using a can, um, wash your chickpeas with two or three sorts of water and remove all the water and just have your chickpeas dry. But before we cook the chickpeas, we're going to cook the potatoes. So I've chopped some potatoes quite small. I've left them in water simply because when I put them in the oil, I want some of the water to go in the oil, not all of it. So I'm just going to go this way and put, put it in there. Okay. The reason why I'm letting some of the water go is so that there is some moisture I'm getting a lot of noise in here. Okay. Okay. So, right. And then just stir your um, potatoes and let, let them be coated with the oil. 
my mom used to say that if you if you allow this the potatoes to be coated with oil then you will get all the spices that stick to this Nina, I thought we were making yep. the rice Shit, I am, aren't I? Yep, I am, sorry I told you it was a nervous wreck, wasn't I? Anyway, sorry, let's, let's do <laughs> Have you done the potatoes as well? I've already put the potatoes in Yeah, we can do the chickpeas now, okay? okay. Is that fine? Yeah, okay, that's fine. That we do. But you know why? When we we only do this in class, we always do the chickpeas first because the rice has to soak for a while. Yeah. So that's fine. We'll okay, we'll. So um, I'm going to switch my rice. So we're making rice with the potatoes, yes? No, no, we're making rice, potatoes, and chickpeas okay, now. So okay, so I'm going to switch my pan over because I've got the wrong pan. Okay. <laughs> Okay. I, sh I, okay. Mm -hmm. I think I have, sorry guys for watching. As I told my son this morning, I was a nervous wreck this morning. That's, that, that's <laughs> fine actually, it's got quite a nice um, flavoring that we're gonna um, give the chickpeas with the cinnamon and everything. So I think it'll be a nice change. Yes. No, um, yeah, chickpeas will be nice. The, the, that's fine, yeah. Actually, I, I am following the recipe for the chickpeas. So when, when the potatoes have been coated with the oil, we'll put all the spices in that we need for the chickpeas. So those of you who have got my recipe, you will know what spice is. It's salt. Right. I'm getting a lot of noise. What is that noise? Is somebody else online with us? See, um, some machinery going on. Can you please mute your side if, okay. Okay, so I put my salt in. What else yeah, did you put salt, in Yeah, salt, turmeric, a little bit of chili powder, a little bit of dana jiru, okay. Okay. And and we're gonna put some green chilies in which we have to slice into two, okay? Okay, I've got some crushed chili. Can I put that in instead? Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, and we need to put some garlic in as well, so we can put all that in now. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. The reason why I'm putting um, two long slices is in case people don't want to eat them, they can take out the. Okay. Okay. Right, and then mix them well, and uh, just a touch of water in case your saucepan isn't non-stick or something, so that the potatoes don't stick. Okay, and and then put put the lid on and let the potatoes cook slowly. Yeah. Okay, and. Whilst that's happening, we'll do the rice, yeah? Okay. I'm just um, going to move my potatoes to the back burner. Okay. Okay, I'll, I'll do the same so that people can see my cooking. Mm -hmm. Okay, for, for the <laughs> rice, we still need to put some oil in. Uh, okay. Just... Just a very small amount, just a tablespoon, and then a bit of jeera in there, okay? So, we'd already done that bit, so I'm just using the same pan, okay? Who's, I can really hear a lot of noise. Is, is, are you, have you got some machinery on, Lena? No, I haven't. I've just got my. Is somebody. Uh, is who else is online or watching us that's got some machinery going? I don't know. No. Uh, okay. I, ha I oh. haven't even got my extractor fan on so that it doesn't make a noise. So I don't know. You know is this somebody's using a blender? I keep getting that noise. No. Okay. All right. Whoever it is, stop it. <laughs> okay. I'm uh, with the rice. I had soaked it earlier, 
So I'm going to remove the water and and then I'm just going to add it to my cumin, okay? So the the ratio we use is one cup of rice, two cups of water, okay? okay. I'm just going to stir the rice and make sure all, it's all coated in the oil as well before we put in any of the spices and everything, okay? Okay. This, this one doesn't need a lot of spices because the main flavor is the cumin, yeah? Yeah, okay. So, so uh, although some people might put in saffron, I don't think we need to because um, we need it to be cumin flavored today. So just yep. a touch of salt and a very small amount of um, turmeric to give it a bit of color. Okay. And because I've only used half a cup of rice, I'm going to put in one cup of water. I don't know how much rice did you use, Naina? Um, I use uh, roughly like two servings, so it was roughly um, one so, cup, I think. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so so the the trick is one cup of rice two cups of water so yeah. because I so use half ratio. cup rice I will use yeah. one cup of water okay. so, so the ratio yeah. is um, uh, one one to two yes yeah yeah so I've already got my water measured so I'm just gonna uh, okay right so, so just just mix it well mm -hmm. and at the moment just let it uh, cook on a bit of a high. As soon as it comes to a boil, yeah. we will um, lower the heat yeah. and, and put the lid on and let it cook gently in its own steam. So we're going to let that cook for a few minutes and uh, with, without the lid on so we can keep an eye on it. Yeah. And then we go back to our potatoes okay. and uh, they should have started to soften. Okay. So I don't know. My have you softened or not yet? Mine are a little bit hard still. Okay. All right. We'll we'll wait. Mine are a little bit hard as well. So, okay, so should I bring the potatoes forward and I move my rice to the back burner? If you want, if you want, so I'm gonna I can, leave mine. I can see what I'm doing with my potatoes then. Okay. Well, I I think mine are both in the same camera, so they're fine. So I'm letting the, I'm just letting the raw potatoes to soften a bit and then we'll put the chickpeas in. And, and the reason why I'm what, I want the potatoes to soften is uh, because the chickpeas are already cooked because uh -huh. they were out of a can. I mean, uh, years ago we used to have to pressure cook them, but now we're so lucky we get them in the can. So, yeah. um, you know, this is a very quick and easy recipe as well. Mm -hmm. So I can see my the water in my rice has started to bubble. So I'm going to give it two more minutes or something before. Yeah. Okay. So the water in my rice has started to bubble as well. Yeah. Okay. Put the so, lid on. Okay. And then yeah, just yeah. Yeah, then low, low, lower it to as low as you can. It's lower than medium. So quite, yeah. but not the hundred percent low. I think yeah. you know what I mean. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. So yeah, put the lid on and just lower the heat uh -huh. and and resist the temptation to look, okay? Okay. That's the hardest part, isn't it? Because you always want to peek yeah. to see it's not sticking yeah. at the bottom. Yeah. Okay, and uh, let's see how the potatoes are doing. Okay, sorry, noisy. <laughs> My potatoes still yeah. need a couple more minutes. Same here. So um, do you want to say a bit about how you cook your chickpeas and then we can compare while we're waiting for the potatoes to soften? Um, yeah, so generally I tend to cook more the white chickpeas, which are called kabuli chanas. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, I'm just going to change my camera, so 
Um, and because my family quite like that, and I tend to cook them with like an oniony, garlicky gravy. Ah, uh, okay. I saute my onions and my garlic and my ginger, right. and right. then I add, add passata to it. And yeah. then I put all my spices in it, and then right. I um, put my chickpeas in, and my girls really like that. And I also do a chickpea and spinach curry. So I, oh, when yeah. the chickpeas are done, I put a handful of um, chopped spinach in it. Mm. It's a good way to get your kids to eat the greens. Yeah, yeah. Um, I like that one also, as well. Yeah. It's really nice um, mm. because, you know, it's healthier as well, and yeah. um you, you're getting the best of both worlds, so um, yeah. I do that. Yeah. Can we quickly put some butter in? Are you using butter in your rice? Uh, no, I don't. Okay. I tend not to, so okay. I'm going to leave, leave the butter I'm, up. I'm going to put that in because... Um, Can you tell me what's the reason for putting the butter in? It just gives it that restaurant kind of smell at the end because it's got... Um, it smells, starts smelling like ghee and um, uh -huh. gives a bit of okay. an authenticity. Like, um, when we were cooking this in the restaurant, we would cook uh -huh. the rice first. The rice yeah. would have been cooked, and then if you had an order for jeera rice, you would yeah. quickly do your tarka with the jeera, yeah. and and you would add a little bit of butter in your tarka, and then you would top it, top up the rice with it, and it just gives it that little authentic kind of scent. Oh, so wow. I, I don't do it I all the time. Ever. Hmm. Eaten. I've never added um, butter to my rice ever. However, mm. we do make something called kitchiri, which yeah. we do put butter in. Yeah, yeah, we I'm do as well. I'm going to try your little tip next time. Yeah, yeah. It's just uh, when you've got guests and something, it's it's quite nice. Yeah. Like when I make plain rice, I like to put either cardamom or or saffron or something, so that you uh -huh. your rice is smelling nice in that same way. Just adding that yeah. butter, it just gives it that little fragrance and makes it look nicer. And obviously, okay. Slimming World won't allow it, but today, hopefully, we can get away with it. So I'm going to uh -huh. just check how the, the state of my potatoes is. Oh, um, nearly uh, there. Coming back to your um, butter tip, can you put like a, for people who may be vegans or something, can they use like a sunflower spread or something? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They can um, uh, use like a flora or something, you know. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, yeah, flora. Okay to use that. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. My, my potatoes are not fully cooked, but are we going to cook the chickpeas? Because if it does, then it will, they'll cook yeah. rather for you. Yeah, we can add the chickpeas in now, but we won't add the tomatoes or anything, yeah? No, okay. So should I add the chickpeas now? Yeah, yeah, add the chickpeas now. And... Um, does your family like a little bit of gravy or do they like it very dry? Because we're serving it with rice, normally yeah. I like a bit of gravy and I like the gravy to be a bit thick. Yeah. Well, the passata, the passata will give it that thickness. Yeah. But, but I think we should add uh, two or three spoonfuls of water just to allow the potatoes to cook. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Normally, my potatoes cook very quickly. That reminds me. Depends. Does it depend that, on the type of potato you have? Yeah. Okay, we were supposed to set the alarm for 10 minutes, so, and I don't know if 10 minutes are up or not. So. Um, maybe a few more minutes. Yeah, a few more minutes. Uh, Alexa, set the alarm for five minutes, please. Okay. Okay, fingers crossed, we should have the alarm to tell us. Okay, I'm just going to increase the heat on my curry as well, the pressure. So how's everybody getting along? Is um, anybody else cooking with us? What did Bipin say? Let me see. He says, butter helps keep rice separate as well. Yeah, true. The oil does that as well. Oh, Rekha Ben likes butter as well in Jira rice. Thank you. Okay, uh, Roshni likes thick gravy. Me too. I like thick gravy as well. Who's coming over? Rekha Ben, it's all ready. Just have puris to make, so please come over. <laughs> yeah. I think when this lockdown is over, we should all have a, a potluck party. We should, we should. Well, we all bring a dish and then we all enjoy a... Oh, I like that. Alexa, send rice and chanabatita to Rekha Ben. 
She probably <laughs> said, I don't understand. <laughs> Hi, Janet, you're getting along well. Sorry, I'm a little bit nervous today. So a little bit of a mess up in the beginning, but I think we've caught up well. Hey, whilst we're talking, I wanted to show you my apron. Can you see it? My niece made it for me. My niece in America made it for me. Oh, wow, that's very nice. Yeah. And it's got that's Gujarati really nice. written. It's got Gujarati writing at the bottom, which, oh, which says, Mane Ketlak Masala Apo, which means give me some spice. She, she asked Google to translate oh, wow. it. <laughs> So, oh, never so tell us how we, I'm wearing it today. <laughs> so, yeah, quite nice to have. Um, it's a really nice apron. It's a lovely present. Um, yeah, and, and this is all done by herself because she used to do a lot of these kind of things for her um, uh, ballet group. You know, they, they buy oh, this. Yeah. So, she, she did. And she's actually used the same font as my blog. Oh, wow. And, That's so nice. And she asked Google to translate. Oh, that's really nice. <laughs> Is she taking orders? <laughs> I'll ask. <laughs> I, I want one with Simply Food on it, but if you're doing apron showing, can I show you mine? Yeah, yeah, go on. So mine uh, has got my... Oh, yeah. Simply Food. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's nice. Yeah, I think I saw that uh, on your blog as well. Yeah, I use it when I'm doing my cookery classes, just to keep the theme going. Um, uh, you, you know, um, Anaina, Arun just asked a question, why is the apron the wrong way around? But it's the camera, it tends to show yeah. everything it wrong is, way around. Exactly, because it looks like we're both left-handed, but we're it not, does. we're right-handed. It does, it does. So it's reversed yeah. everything. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, yeah, yesterday after my brother mentioned it, I, when I was looking at the video, it looked like both of us were left-handed, you know. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Yeah. Um, do, do you know, I had a really um, amusing uh, comment uh, after the session we did, and they said to me, somebody said to me, oh, were you cooking with your sister? <laughs> well, yeah, Bipin said that, Bipin said the same thing, you looked like twins, he said. <laughs> <laughs> Exactly, because um, they should, they somebody said to me, because my sister's called Vina, and you're uh, Vina, so somebody said uh, to me, oh, you're cooking with your sister, and I said, well, actually, she's like a sister, um, you know, we get on really well, and, and we cook together, so she could be my sister. Yeah, yeah, well, we're both from Kenyan, so we probably have the same accent at times, you know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So shall we check the curry? Yeah, I'm just going to Yeah. Sorry, my, my camera, so that so this Alexa has not told us about the time, so I'm assuming we still have time left over. I think my my potatoes are still hard, so I'm I'm going to resist putting in the tomatoes because um, if the potatoes aren't cooked, the 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 tomato will ruin it. Okay. So few more minutes. Yeah. So is this because the tomato has got the citric in it? It's like yeah, sharp. Yeah. Yeah. So. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Yeah, and then um, yeah. In once the, these are the chana is cooked, we are going uh -huh. to add in uh, passata or tomatoes. Um, okay. In in Kenya, when my parents used to make the chana, they used to put um, re, you know proper tomatoes, not tomato yes. tins, and Fresh then tomatoes. they would put tom tomato puree to get the color. Okay. Uh, yeah. And and if my dad was cooking for a wedding, he would. We know when he did the tarka, he would put a little yes. bit of a, a charana lot basin. Okay. Yeah. That would that but would help to give the thicken the curry. Yeah. Which here you tend to use corn flour, but over there yeah. that's what he used to use uh, to thicken it. But I find if you're using passata, then mm -hmm. we don't need to thicken the gravy. The gravy comes out mm -hmm. quite well anyway. So, uh, okay, uh, um, time's up. Shall we check? Alexa, yeah. switch off the alarm. So let's, yeah, okay. Now we're going to have to turn off the cooker and leave it for 10 minutes. Don't, I know I, che I cheated and looked, but just turn off your cooker for the rice and uh -huh. give it another 10 minutes before we check, yeah? Okay. Okay. okay, so because what happens is rice is, will still continue to cook because our saucepan's hot, the rice is hot, there's steam in there, so it'll still continue okay. to cook. 
So we'll leave it for 10 minutes and then we can um, take it out and we can garnish it uh, with uh, okay. cashews or whatever. So yeah. now we have to concentrate on our chickpeas. So how's it going now? Come on, yeah. potatoes, we need you to cook. Sometimes okay. what I do with the curry is I just mash up a few of the potatoes yeah. to try yeah, and I cook the sauce. Yeah, I do that as well. And, and, and it's a trick I also tell people in my class because sometimes they, when we're making curry, they might put too much water. Yeah. So, so we sort of say, oh, just uh, mash up a few potatoes. And my potatoes are just about getting ready, but I'm going to let them cook a little bit Mine, more. Mine because, is uh, a little bit hard. Yeah. It's strange. We cut them really small, didn't we? Yeah. Um, I used um, the red... King Edward potatoes, which well, I like cooking with those because it doesn't make your curry go all mushy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the white potatoes. Sometimes if you do it and then you warm it up, they all it disintegrate and you end up with yeah, that. I know. Much yeah. I know. I know what you mean. Yeah. I don't like those, that either. It sort of ruins the look of your curry, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. 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 So anyway, let's have a look at some. Yes. Uh, Jyoti Ben likes to add chanana lot on it. Jyoti Ben, try using passata and you probably won't need chanana lot. Um, Alexa Ben is quiet, but uh, we've switched it off now. She did tell me she was a bit quiet. Okay, Roshni, <laughs> the rice, I think we cooked it for 10 minutes and then we've left the lid on and we're cooking it for, just leaving it in the steam for another 10 minutes. Yeah. So... Okay, is Roshni, Roshni cooking along? Question. Is Roshni cooking uh, along? Roshni, Roshni, are you cooking along with us? Oh, oh, RJ mm. saying Alexa Ben Sukriya. Uh, Sukriya. <laughs> Sukriya. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Alexa Ben does let us down sometimes. Yes. <laughs> Alexa Ben agrees with us that the King Edward potatoes cook the yeah, best. Yeah. They I do. Well. They I do. <laughs> Right. Sorry. Um, I have not put the fan on because. Hi, uh, Welcome to um, <laughs> our cooking session. Okay. Um, oh, Daksha. Daksha, hello. Um, Jodi Ben's asking us yeah. what to use instead of chanana lot. You can use. I think Mina said we can use corn flour. Corn flour. Mm. But but if you use passata which is um, something like this it's very very thick tomato so you don't need to add water or uh, you don't need to add chanana lot and it just gives you a nice thick sauce okay um quick question Mina hmm? um sometimes um I have family that don't use tin tomatoes or passata they swear by fresh tomatoes yeah, I know. Um, so would it be better to blend the tomatoes and make like a puree of it and put it in the curry um, to give that, well, to get that thickness? It, it just depends on your style of cooking. I mean, if it was my mum, she would just put one or two tomatoes fresh straight in there. And somehow her curry always looked great and tasted great. Uh -huh. And she used to add like a spoonful of tomato puree at the end yeah, or something. Yeah. Um, okay. if, if I'm using fresh tomatoes, I do what you do. I sort of blanch them, take the skin off, and then uh -huh. I might and put them the through curry. the blender. And then, yeah. because the kids don't like bits of tomatoes coming in their curry as well. Yeah, when my, my girls were little, they wouldn't eat anything with bits in the curry, yeah. so I yeah. started blending my tomatoes. Yeah, yeah. So, okay, shall we? What's the potato status now? Ooh, curry's looking dry My now. My potatoes are cooked, almost cooked. Um, maybe, it, yeah, they are done, actually. Yeah, same here. So now we can add the passata. Okay, how much and should I add? I'm going to add a cup because okay. that will give us nice gravy. So I'm going to use a cup. Uh -huh. Okay. And I'm also going to put half a cup of water because um, I want my gravy to have a little bit of water so I can have my rice with it. Uh -huh. 
So there you are. And then you, if Chuty Ben, you can see how it hasn't had a chance to cook, but again, already the, the gravy is quite thick. So you will see that the passata does make a difference to your gravy. We can also now um, put in, if you are using sugar, you can put some sugar in. Um, but I'm going to use something called gore, which is uh, like brown sugar, sugar molasses. This was very popular back in Kenya because Kenya had lots of sugar cane growing and lots of sugar mills. So I'm just going to put a very tiny piece, not, not a huge amount. And I'm going to put... Is that enough, about a teaspoonful? Yeah, yeah. And then I'm going to put some um, lemon juice. Again, lemon juice is family preference. I know my brother likes uh, uh, things to have a little bit more lemon than I do. And I know Rajesh just like lemon at the end as well. So I'm just going to put one tablespoon now. And then you can always taste it and change afterwards. If you feel it's too lemony, you can always put a little bit of sugar. If it's too sugary, you can put a little bit of lemon. So I'm just going to let it bubble away for a few minutes. I think my shark is looking very, very nice, and the gravy is definitely thickening up. Yeah, yeah, it um, always does, doesn't it? So I'm just going to quickly look at the recipe to see I haven't forgotten anything. Um, no, I, some people might add garam masala, but to be very frank, as a Gujarati person and a Kenyan, we don't put garam masala uh, to every curry. We tend to be quite specific about which curry we put garam masala in. This is not one of them. So what's the comment somebody's left? We recently come across Albert Bartlett roaster potatoes, which are fantastic variety. Okay, we've not come across those, uh, but I've not I had a chance to go to the shop. Hmm. Yeah, I have used those before and they're really good as well. Right, okay. So shall we have a look at our rice and maybe add some cashews or are you garnishing yours with cashews? Um, I didn't didn't get the cashews, but I've got some um, chopped up chili and some coriander. Can I okay. get with that? Yeah, you can do that. Yeah. So look, look what it looks like. I'm not going to, I'm just, I'm going to, when we're ready to sell, I will, um, I will use a fork to bring them up. But, but you if I try and bring it to the camera, you can see that it's all cooked and every grain has separated. And, okay. oh, it smells lovely. You can smell the butter, the cumin, everything. Okay. And the color's so, lovely. <laughs> mine's not as yellow as yours. Because I, I probably I added a bit less fine. turmeric. Is that okay? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's fine, that's fine, yeah. Sometimes people add um, uh, peas to it, which is fine as well, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, what's this? Okay, not not tried them, bitten by, okay. All right, so looks like our rice is ready and our um, chickpea curry is ready as well. And I think it's probably time to to start serving. Okay. Uh, I, I am going to make some puris later on. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm not going to go live on that, but I may I may go live when I'm making some um, chutney. Well, but I don't know. I'll see what mood I'm. <laughs> Janet, how are you doing? Did you manage to catch up with us? You see, Janet's hair is fantastic. Uh, Janet, did, uh, you'll have to take a picture of your curry and rice and show us. Same with Jyoti Ben, if you are cooking along, please show us uh, your curry, okay? I can see Naina is already dishing up her curry, wow, okay. I'm going to dish mine up as well. If I can find my container. <laughs> you know, the nice thing about online, People don't get a chance to taste your food. <laughs> um, should we do the rice as well? Are we, are we? Yeah, yeah, we can. Yeah, just to use a fork or a spoon to lightly um, puff it up. up. 
Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So. My rice has come out really nice and separate. Has it? Yeah. It's all to do with the kind of rice you use as well, isn't it? Yeah. I, I generally um, use tilde or tea. Yeah, me too. Tea yeah, because same. Because I find that um, I don't like uh, rice that's all stuck together and this one makes a nicer mm. separate rice. Yeah, I'm going to garnish mine with some um, coriander. Did you manage to get some coriander? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I bought a couple yeah. of bunches the other day when we yeah. went shopping. Yeah. Um, and I've been trying to keep it fresh. Um, mm. Do you have a good tip about how I can make my coriander last in the fridge? Because I tend to find that if, you know, sometimes you go to the shops and it's quite wet when you buy it. Yeah, so yeah. So then when you bring it home, you put it in the fridge, it all starts to rot. I know, I know. What, what I've done in the past, or well, well my neighbour got me a really nice uh, bunch from Tesco's because I didn't get any from Sainsbury's. And I washed it and then I put it uh -huh. between two tea towels to dry overnight. Okay. Uh, and then I've actually used another tea towel and just wrapped them kitchen paper, tea towel and in the fridge. I don't know if that will work or not, yeah. but that's what yeah, I've I done this time. Yeah, what I have been doing is, as you said, I've been cutting the really wet stalks off and then mm. t dividing the bunches into smaller bunches and then wrapping each bunch in kitchen paper and then putting right. it in a Tupperware in the fridge and it sort of works. Yeah. Right. But, um, I've, I've heard people put their bunches of coriander in junk for water and stuff and it regrows. I tried, and, uh, I tried that, but it, mine went all smelly, so I wouldn't recommend it. Oh, okay. See how, I'm not going to attempt see, that. <laughs> see how separated it looks? And okay, you can so feel my... the cumin. Yeah? All, yeah, all nice and dry. Nice. And, and really only took about 10 minutes to cook. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so I'm just going to chop it up with more. My husband loves cashews, so more cashews. And you can use anything to garnish, you know, it's just... Um, uh, yeah. Whatever makes your family happy, isn't it? <laughs> I've just added. Can you see mine? I've just added um, uh, just coriander on mine. Is that all okay. right? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can add some as well. I've got some yeah. coriander. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I chopped mine and I left it in water because uh, I didn't want it drying up. Uh huh. Yeah, so, but it's not very good for garnishing when it's wet. <laughs> yeah. So. So I'm just going to put mine in a tray so you can see the two dishes. So yeah. those are the two dishes we made. Wow. And um, that's, can you see? Oh, wow. Yours looks like yummy. Mm. I keep saying, why can't you lift yours up? But we are on two different screens. Come yeah. on, if you go near each other, that's I don't know. Thing. Okay, there you go. Is that all right? right? Okay, I hope somebody's it's taking pictures of this. <laughs> right. Yeah. Looks really lovely, doesn't it? Yeah, it's really nice. Yeah. And how long did it take? About 40 minutes for the two dishes? Yeah, yeah. So, it's, it's not quite bad. a nice, sweet, yeah, quick dinner that you can sort of do, you know, um, make. Yeah, um, actually, you're right. I mean, I've got puddlers left over from yesterday. So you don't so, need to make your food in well, I might not. I'll just have to see what my husband fancies, yeah. But I might just get away with this. Um, yeah, yes. Yeah. But um, it's been really fun cooking. I'd love to see if anyone else has cooked. Uh, what do you say? Dana Baji? I can't, sorry. It's gone away. Roshni said 40 minutes as well. Not bad. Yeah. Yeah. Arun's hungry, but sorry, Arun, you're on a diet. Oh, bless him. You're going to get all these lovely smells coming from the kitchen. Yeah. So, yeah, I really enjoyed it. Thanks, Janet, for cooking along. Please, please share your photos and um, leave us your comments and um, we'll try and reply to them. Uh, both of us are very new to Instagram and cooking on live, so we're both learning, but any feedback will be helpful. Okay. Yeah, it's been uh, great working, um, cooking with you, Mina. Today's been our second day. And I know. to be honest, I've had a lot, a lot of fun 
cooking me with too. you. Me um, too. Um, oh, I'm just going to switch the camera so I can actually speak, talk to you, and um, that's yep. it. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. No, it's been really fun, and I think um, we've had readers. Uh, uh, it's vegetarian week this week. Yeah, yeah. Um, so we try to inspire. Oops, <laughs> you've done what I did yesterday. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Never mind. That's fine. Yeah. At least every, everything finished cooking. <laughs> yeah, I I did that yesterday. So so um, yeah. coming back. So because it's vegetarian week, we're trying to um, get people to. Uh, convert you know if, if they are a meat eater maybe do a, a vegetarian day a week or something because it's really good to to cut out the meat and also with lockdown it's a lot cheaper to cook vegetarian um, yeah if money is a bit short you can make such a delicious um meal and sometimes yeah. i like to serve like papadums or something with, with yeah. our yeah. rice and that it's yeah. nice to have a bit crunchy on the top hmm. yeah we do or, or uh, onions and uh, tomato salad you know because i don't put onions in my um chana on the curry yeah, but yeah. i like to have because i like the crunch i'll always have a bit on the side yeah it's that so, sounds like i might yeah. actually make some to go with our dinner mm. um mm. i think that'd be quite nice yeah. to do that um mm. yeah no it's been fun yeah. i'm really yeah. uh hopefully we can do another se session at simply food next time yeah um, we'll do that let's think yeah. well, if anybody's got an idea let us know only thing is there, there's a shortage of ingredients. I'd love to show people how to make stuffed parathas or just ordinary parathas, but I think people will have problems getting the flour. That's the only thing. Um, mm. So I don't know what people think. Uh, um, yeah, I mean, maybe what we could, if, if anybody's got any suggestions of recipes yeah. you would like to see us cook, yeah. then please leave in the comments below and we'll yeah. try and accommodate them. Yeah. Because, and um, again, it would it, be nice to to do recipes that, that people enjoy um so by all means do let us know um and please follow our blogs our youtube yeah. i have a youtube channel mm -hmm. uh, mina mm -hmm. um has uh, mm -hmm. her instagram then mine is simply food so we'd love to uh mm -hmm. for you to come and visit us leave us comments and um just give us feedback on how we can improve yeah yeah we definitely need to learn a few tricks, but uh, I think Bipin makes a good comment that never known anyone catch a virus from vegetarian food. So. Rekha, and, Rekha and Ben is saying um, there's flour, flour in the shops now. Actually, yeah, that's I good. managed to get baking powder and flour from my local oh, shop. okay. So maybe, um, yeah. yeah. Oh, Maruna Bajja, yeah. that sounds nice. That sounds nice. Me too, yeah. yeah. Quite fancy that. Oh, and mm. lunch apparatus? Yeah, yeah, that would be nice with, um, oh, what curry could we have with lacha paratha, something? We have a paneer and uh, matcha paneer. Yeah, yeah matcha paneer, paneer nice. yeah. yeah. Yeah, that would well, be maybe, nice, maybe, wouldn't it? Maybe something on the mm. books for next week, we'll consider yeah. that. Yeah, um, yeah. Yeah, any other, mm. any, any other suggestions, anyone? Mm. No, I mean, it's nice having uh, family and friends coming along to support us. And um, it's it's a nice feeling when you when you know you, you're with friends. So if you make mistakes, it's not too bad. Kachori, hey, your husband kachori wants kachori. <laughs> that, that that's quite a time-consuming job, and I think we'd be here for two hours on the video if we did that. But we could certainly do a cheats version or something. Um, no, we could we could just make three or four, and then that's it. Yeah, two okay. for me, <laughs> two for you, and two for me. <laughs> Roshni wants Dobra, so yeah, we can make Dobra yeah. online. That's quite a yeah. Um, Vivek dal makhani. Oh, I I don't know if I can make such a nice dal makhani. Your mum probably makes a better one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. uh, Roshni saying, Dad, no kachori. Oh, spinach Dobra. Yes. Yeah. yeah. We can make that. Yeah. Um, I recently actually did a YouTube video on the spinach dokra. So if anybody oh, wants did you? the recipe, please go to YouTube and type in Naina Kanaba and you will find the recipe for the spinach dokra on there. I'm um, going to have a look because I fancy that. That must be really nice. Did you it, make it a bit really like mutia? Did you make it a bit it, like mutia? It, it actually, when you fry it, they looks like patra, but it's a cheats uh, version. You yeah, don't yeah, 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 yeah. It's a task of all yeah. the deep uh, in the... Yeah, I think it's much nicer that way. And then you, you just cut it into squares, isn't it? 
Yeah, and then just yeah. your Tarkao there, and it's yeah, really yeah. quite nice. Yeah, uh, yeah. Ferrari Puri or Maruna, but just somebody else is saying. Well, um, and dips, the, the three dips we made, first the Puri last week. So oh. we'll have yeah, to wait a got... while. <laughs> Kitchy. I saw your video, Mina. That was really good of the Farsi Puri. It's very yeah, nice. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Oh, how did you see the video? How how did I see it? Oh, I you were you. My class with you. you. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's yeah, right. Yeah. 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 <laughs> uh, Dokra in glass with samosa masala in it. Sorry, somebody saying Dokra in glass. Yeah. With, with samosa, samosa masala. masala in it. Oh, okay. Yeah. So okay. Uh, basically, we can like have a look. A, Mm -hmm. um, like a dokra um, chat, maybe? I think somebody's suggesting that. Yeah. Oh, and yeah. dosa. Yeah. You're good Roshi, at making dosa. I think she's suggesting all her favorite things, you know, that we should be cooking. It looks like I, uh, <laughs> I don't blame her. <laughs> I don't blame her. Sorry, I'm going to put my phone back. Yeah. I, I need an assistant, really, you know. To do all this for me um the, the, what we're going to do is uh put um the pictures of the recipes uh, and the recipes on the instagram i think we've actually already done that haven't we mina uh, the recipes we've already put on your insta story i tried i don't know if it's gone or not now i, I can relax and check <laughs> yeah i think it has and i also shared okay. it at simply food so if okay. anybody wants the recipe then just check our Insta story, it's there, or just message us and we'll send it through to you um, by email or um, on Facebook or WhatsApp or just message us and we'll share the recipe with you um, so that you also can make this again. <laughs> yeah, Bipin, please come and help. Rajesh refuses to help. If he's online, he's going to laugh. He says, I have to learn. So I was panicking last night, trying to work out how to tag you. <laughs> but anyway, I finally worked out the counter, and I'm getting there. I will get better. <laughs> so, yeah, okay, Naina, I think I'm going to end the session now. And um, uh -huh. um, yeah. it's been lovely yeah. cooking with you. I think Thank we deserve a round me. of applause. And uh, thank, thank you, you for, for having me cook with yeah. you. And yeah, thank you. you. Thank you as well. Thank you, everyone. Okay. Thank you. Bye. Thank bye. You. Bye. 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 Bye.